The Green Lanterns are the guardians of the universe. Alien beings chosen from across the galaxy to wield power rings that use their willpower to create energy constructs and give them amazing power. Green Lantern, the animated series, follows the only human lantern chosen and considered one of the best, Hal Jordan, his lantern colleague Kilowog, and their allies as they save the universe from threats no one else can stand against. The series opens with Green Lanterns in the farthest, deepest regions of space disappearing. Hal and Kilowog steal an experimental starship with its experimental artificial intelligence, Aya, to look into the matter. They soon find a group of new lanterns, but their rings are based on rage instead of will, and they have a vile leader in Atrocitus. However, one of these red lanterns joins their cause. The series spans the team's adventures trying to stop Atrocitus and all new threats from destroying the galaxy. Every show delivers on the fun, brings new threats, brings new allies, but also brings new wonders. This is a wonderful animated series with nice action, witty dialogue, and actual character development in a cartoon show. Hal Jordan is the hero here, but he is a well-developed, well-rounded character that you'll find interesting. The rest of the cast is not pushed aside to make time for him. Aya, Kilowog, Razor, they all get their moments to shine in this story and just deepen it with their characters. Every episode is a little different. Sometimes they're serious, sometimes they're funny, but they're always fun and they're always well crafted. I just could not believe the consistency in the alien designs and the alien worlds. They're just always new and always wonderful. You don't have to be a fan of the comic book character to get into this series, but you will become a fan of the Green Lantern once you start watching it. Simply put, Green Lantern, the animated series, takes a superhero and puts him in a sci-fi action adventure that spans the galaxy, but it's always fun. Unfortunately, this show only lasted one season because the live action film they made of the Green Lantern did horribly at the box office. So the lesson here is maybe we should leave superhero films in the hands of those that know and love the characters.